Hi friends, welcome to Ajay Automate's channel. I hope you are all doing good. So in this video, let's quickly review some scenario based Selenium automation interview questions asked recently in many interviews. Okay. So before jumping into the topic, one important thing to all the candidates out there who is attending automation interviews based on the learning from any YouTube channels or any online platforms. Okay. Consider the interviewer who is evaluating you is having more than five year or 10 year experience. So you can expect a lot of scenario based questions from this experience in automation. Okay. So you, we cannot expect straightforward questions like how will you automate an alert? How will you automate a drop down? What are the different types of weights in Selenium? So from alert, there will be multiple scenarios. So you have to go through all the scenarios in alerts in drop downs in weights or any other UI automation techniques. Okay. This is really important. This proves that you have really worked in automation projects and do not possess any bookish knowledge. Okay. So go through as, as much scenario based questions you can. Okay. So let's jump into the questionnaire. The first question is how would you handle a situation during automation where multiple new windows opened and you, you need to switch to the window with specific page title. Okay. So here in the image I have given three windows. Okay. Main window, first window and second window. So consider you have to switch to the second window with page title name as second window. So what will you do here? Okay. So we can go for window handles to switch to new browser windows, but to switch to specific page title. Okay. We need to use iterator and loop through all the windows and make sure we are equaling the page title named as second window. For that we can use equals method. So it's really important you talk about iterator and equals method for this question. Okay. Let's switch to the next question. So this question is almost similar to the first question. So the difference is you have to switch to the second new window. In the first question you have to switch to a window with specific page titles. Here also from the main window multiple windows are opened but you have to switch to the second new window. So how will you go to the second window? So we can here also use window handles along with iterator. Okay. See the code here in the right side using iterator. I am uh, declaring a string called as main window handle. Okay. Which will switch to the first window and I have to switch to the second window, right? So I'm declaring a string called as second window handle and using iterator dot next. So in the second window, I have to automate using selenium. Okay. So I have to use iterator and move to the second window. Okay, this question is also almost similar to the first question. Okay, let's see the next question. So you have a drop down with 20 plus options. How would you select an option without hard coding the index? Okay, without hard coding the index, uh, uh, see here, okay, it's really important. So you cannot hard code an index value and you have to get all the options also. Okay, with because there are 20 plus options. So we need to use a list and get all the options using get options method. From, from the list of web elements, you have to loop all the elements and you have to select values right from a drop down. So using equals method, you have you can match the web, ele web element or text you are going to click. Okay, from the drop down. So this is how you can answer this question. We can loop through all the options using get options and select based on the visible text or value because you cannot use index, right? So you can use visible text or get drop down values. Okay. So let's see the next question. How would you handle a multi select drop down? So this question is asked in many interviews. Okay. So you have to select multiple values from a drop down. Okay. So what can we do is we can go for using is yes multiple method. Okay. Which is used to check if multiple selections are allowed in the drop down first, then we can select multiple options using visible text or values or index. Okay. You have to talk about is yes multiple method usage here while answering the question that is really important. Okay. Let's see the next question. Consider an alert is present, but you need to interact with an web element behind it. How will you handle this? This is a tricky one. Okay. We cannot interact web elements behind an alert until the alert is handled. So first accept or dismiss the alert, then proceed with the next actions behind the alert. Okay. So let's see the next question. Consider your application pages are loading very slowly. How will you handle this case? So most of the applications in staging behaves 
or runs very slowly okay so this is a common question asked in many interviews so the best approach is to use explicit weights for web elements to be visible clickable or present okay explicit weight handles slow loading elements efficiently okay another approach is we can use increase page load timeout because we cannot wait for much longer time okay if it is very delaying you can declare a timeout there okay so we can increase the page load time timeout which will ensure selenium waits longer before throwing a timeout error okay this question is really important let's see the next question how will you handle exceptions during automation so almost in all the automation interviews i see this question so but the thing is many people answer only try catch block you can explain multiple uh, ways here okay to for handling exceptions one way is using try catch block write the code that might throw an exception inside try block and handle exception in the catch block that is fine another approach is you can use explicit wait because a lot of exceptions occur due to timing issues so we can use explicit wait to handle dynamic web elements okay and the another approach is using test and annotation expected exceptions this is also used to handle exceptions during automation okay so explain this multiple ways which will definitely uh, what to say uh, the interviewer will be much happier hearing this uh, multiple ways of handling exceptions okay next question is how do you handle dynamic pop ups or tool tips that appear after hovering over an web element so using mouse you are hovering over a web element and then some dynamic pop up a pop up or tool tip is appearing so how will you handle this automation test case we can use actions class along with explicit wait to handle this test case so declare actions and use explicit wait wait for the tool tip to appear then you click or get text or do whatever actions you are going to do okay so let's see the next question how would you upload multiple files using selenium at once you are not going to upload only one file you have to upload multiple files so we all know we can upload files using send keys right here the question is we have to upload multiple files so using send keys method you have to use semicolon or slash n as a separator and pass the file names okay this is how you have you can upload multiple files at once using selenium okay so you have to use send keys and pass the file path okay use uh, in between the semicolon along with slash n okay this should help you upload multiple files at once okay this is a sample code in the right side you can try on your editor let's see the next question have you ever encountered an issue while automating drop downs how did you debug it Uh, not all the drop downs will be written inside select tag okay so few drop downs will be present inside div tags okay at that time we cannot use select class and automate okay so at that time as i said select class won't work because it's not present in the inside html select tag we can go for using javascript executor there to select values from the drop down okay so you can say this is as an issue and you overcome it using javascript executor okay let's see the next question how do you scroll to the bottom of a web page using selenium in java okay you are not ask they are not asking how do you scroll to a page you need to scroll to the bottom of a page so here we can use web javascript executor along with document.body.scrollheight okay what does it mean is it is the maximum vertical scroll height which will move us to the bottom of the web page so it's really important you talk about javascript executor and document body dot scroll height okay the next question is consider a scenario where you have to click on terms and conditions checkbox uh, sorry you have to make sure terms and condition checkbox is displayed only if your user selects specific option or link so how would you verify this dynamic behavior in your test okay understand the question thoroughly consider a scenario where terms and condition checkbox is displayed only if a user selects a specific option or link okay so this checkbox is getting displayed only if we click on any other link in the web page how would you verify this dynamic behavior okay we can verify simply using is displayed method here okay trigger the action first click on any elements and make sure using is displayed that particular terms and condition checkbox is present is displayed or not okay this will work here 
so we have come to the end of today's video these are some sample scenario based questions okay there are like uh, hundreds or 200s or scenario based questions in real time okay so i'm happy to inform you all we are preparing a booklet for scenario based interview questions from almost hundreds of interviews okay from 2 to 3 years last 2 to 3 years questionnaire we are preparing commonly asked scenario based interview questions okay so i will share it with you all once it's done uh, okay so it contains questions from oops concepts java code ccd techniques ui automation techniques etc okay so i will definitely release it soon so thanks for watching this video please do subscribe my channel Ajay Automates for more automation training and automation interview preparation related videos. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. Bye.